stayed where you were, where you are right now. I feel there. Bloemfontein, this is this doesn't happen often. Kile interview like it had to be about what aircraft maintenance engineering is. From home, from school, to all these aviation people and industry, I don't think I would have been where I am. Regardless of being passionate about the aviation industry, I think respect is number one. Number two is your attitude towards everything. Another thing is to be disciplined. It's not easy to be disciplined and motivated at the same time. Actually, my first uh, plane ride um, when I saw the pilot and I said you know what I think this is what I want to do and ever since I was six years old I've been steadfast on completing this dream and um, here I am today I would encourage them to pursue a career in aviation solely because we are meant to be breaking barriers and that's exactly what being a young black female in the aviation industry is about so um, challenge yourself break barriers take on new challenges. Um, that's solely the reason why I'd say um, coming to the aviation industry. It's expanding, there's many opportunities. It's been a tough journey, I will not lie, but it's been a rewarding journey as well. And I'll say rewarding because I had such a good support structure. My colleague, Lekadi, who was speaking earlier on before, has been one of the most instrumental people in my journey. Um, we studied together, we cried together, we prayed together. And overall, I think that's the most inspirational person in this journey for me. So it's taught me a lot about who I am, um, my capabilities, who I see myself to be and how I value myself as well. What I enjoy most about my job is the freedom it gives me. Um, I feel very free, I feel in control, and I love that about my job. I love that I'm in charge of what I do. Um, I'm a qualified commercial pilot, multi-engine rated. I'm also a qualified drone pilot. I'm also a university student completing my BA in public management and international relations at the University of Pretoria. I've never been interested in variation in, in aircraft, but today I've been inspired, really, really inspired. I've been inspired by how people work. I've been inspired by how they are, you know. Yeah, I, I, I would really like to see if I, if I have that potential. I think I might consider aviation, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a career. I am more interested in the technical part because as a child, I was also, I was, I was, uh, I was obsessed with electronics. I would like to be a technician. I, I found uh, aviation as a, as a very interesting uh, industry. I think growing up, I always wanted to be a pilot. Um, because obviously everybody knows piloting only in aviation and one day I watched a movie called View from the Top and I wanted to be an air hostess. So one of the good days when I was at work um, doing my other things, I was told uh, SA is just doing interviews in Bloemfontein. So I was like, good shot. Um, now I could uh, get a chance to become a pilot or an air hostess. Only when I got there, I had to find out that it's actually South African Airways technical. 
So that's when I found out that um, I need to choose a trade that is more in a technical field. And through the list that I went through, I only got interested in doing an aircraft mechanic, maintenance mechanic. Um, my name is Leboha Mukwalo. I am an AME as well as a drone pilot. I represent CAA. I came here with CAA, but I work for our PES Training Academy. I only became an instructor recently and I, I had a student, I think it's a guy from Zimbabwe, and he's very old, almost, almost the same age as my dad. And once he passed his um, skills test to become a drone pilot, he actually sent me a very um, heartwarming text. And I believe that is my purpose, to actually have people from different backgrounds and actually being the one teaching them and seeing them doing the actual work and being proud of it. I think that is the main thing about being an instructor, having to touch lives, um, in a different way and knowing that it's going to improve their lives forever. We're encouraging these young ones because the audience said it was grade 11 and grade 12 so that as they make career choices, they must not forget that there's an aviation that they can choose from. So we are opening doors for new opportunities for them. So hence we are here. The place of a woman is no more in the kitchen. It must Acro across the spectrum, women can be in the driving seat.